How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today I'm going to be going over how to read and set JSON files uh, because it's something that is uh, very useful. A lot of plugins are actually starting to use JSON files and it's just another way uh, to store data. So there was a suggestion to do JSON uh, parsing for JSON, but I figured that we should go ahead and talk about JSON before we go ahead and talk about JSON because you need to know a little bit of JSON before you can use JSON if that all made sense. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys are having a little bit of trouble, uh, don't be afraid to go over there and check it out and make sure that your code is working well. So I've already set up a few things here, which is our path and an array list of the custom items. So we're gonna be making custom items based off of our uh, JSON files, which we have which we have created right here. Uh, it's just a test one that I did just to save some time. If you don't know the format of actual JSON files, you should probably do a little bit of research on that. I'm hoping that you understand a little bit of uh, how the JSON format works, but basically I'll go over it really quickly here. It's kind of like uh, what we talked before with chat serialization in a way, because uh, that uses uh, JSON. Uh, so what it is here is you got an open bracket, uh, open squiggly bracket, and then inside of here is all the values. So you need a key and a value, right? So it's almost like a hash map. So this is the key and this is the value of that key. So, and then here we have the same thing. This is the key and then these are, well, this is an array actually. Key, value, comma to separate it, key, value, comma to separate it. And then the um, colon here to separate the keys and the values. So let's go ahead and get started here though. So the first thing we need to do is we just need to create our method to actually set up the items. So set up item, z, plural. Well, I mean, we're really only setting up one, but besides the point. So let's just go ahead and make our try catch here really quickly. So this is just gonna be try catch, and this is going to be parse exception, and we'll add a straight line there, and IO exception, E. And then we go ahead and eat our print stack trace. And it's gonna give you an error right now because we don't have anything inside of there, but don't worry about that. And then we're going to go ahead and say is four. We need to get all the files inside of that uh, path there. So we're just gonna say file file equals this.get, or not that, sorry. We just wanna go ahead and say path dot list files. And now we can start iterating through all of these files. So the first thing we wanna do is we have to create a JSON parser so we can actually parse through our JSON file. So we're gonna call this JSON parser equals new JSON parser. And make sure you import the right one. I did not there, so we're getting an error there. You wanna go ahead and import the org.json.simple parser. And now that should work there, and it is. So now we need to create an object for our parsed information. And this is just going to be parser, or JSON parser dot parse and we want a new file reader and this is going to be file dot get path go ahead and do that and we're getting a nice nice little parse exception there so just make sure we're importing the right things here so again make sure you're importing the right parser so we need the JSON parser here and now that actually goes away so we probably didn't need to take that out of the uh, switch the try around we just needed to fix our imports there which is not a big deal but now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a JSON object uh, for the parsed information, right? Or for the parsed file. So, and this is just going to be JSON object, and this is going to equal a new, or not a new JSON object, but a cast of JSON object over the parsed. And now what we can go ahead and do is we can actually start getting some of the information on there. So we can go ahead and get uh, the item name right here. So if we go ahead and say, uh, string string or well I guess we should say item name item name equals and we want to cast string over this because it's it's just an object right now and we want to go ahead and say JSON object dot get and we want to go ahead and oops we want to go ahead and get this so now if we go ahead and do system not synchronized system dot out dot print 
item name. We can uh, go ahead and export this. And this should go ahead and work. Oh, we are not setting it up. So we got to do setup items. It's not in our enable. That might help. So now if we go ahead and export this. Okay, so we actually have an error here. Okay, so we had some errors in our JSON file, which is why it wasn't working. But you can see there that we do got the system that print, uh, the system out that print in the test. So if we actually, I'm going to go ahead and quickly run, run through uh, the rest of this here. Uh, so the next thing that's really more important here is actually getting this the item object. So. What we actually need to do is it's a little different than how you do before. We actually have to go ahead and create a new JSON object for this item because this actually has uh, values inside of it here. So what we need to do again is just go ahead and say JSON object and we will call this item object and this is going to be a JSON object cast and we're actually going to go ahead and get the JSON object and we are going to get item and now what we can do inside of here is we can actually go ahead and get everything else so we can go ahead and say string and what do we got there we got the ID and the damage okay so actually let's go ahead and create an item stack here item stack and this is actually going to be we're gonna cast item stack or we're going to create a new item stack new item stack from material dot value of and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually get this uh, this item so this is going to be a string and we need the ID because it's going to be diamond X. So it's going to be item object dot get ID. And we can actually go ahead and do that. So we could uh, actually have uh, pulled this out, and that's what we're going to do real quick. We're going to pull this out, and we're just going to say string. Uh, item type equals string dot get item because then we want to go ahead and get item type dot uh, to uppercase because we want to make sure that it's an uppercase. So what we go, what we can go ahead and do now is uh, we're not really going to worry about this damage value here. Uh, let's see how long we've been recording for. Ten minutes. That's not bad. So what we're going to do now is we're going to skip over the damage value. No reason to do that really. Is we're going. I'm going to show you how to iterate through arrays. Uh, and this is actually going to be the array of the lore here. So what we're going to do is we need to basically create the array, which uh, takes a little bit more, uh, but at the same time, it's super easy. It's really self-explanatory. It's uh, probably what you expected, uh, JSON array. And this is going to be lore array equals a cast of JSON array. And then we want to go ahead and get our original JSON object and we're going to get and we want to go ahead and get lore so now what we can do inside of this is we can say for the objects and we can just call it lore lines or something and it's objects not objects lore lines or you can just say lore whatever you want to do and it's just going to be lore array and then inside of here, what we need to do is basically what we did before, which is create a JSON object. And for this JSON object, we would just go ahead and call it uh, lore, uh, lore data or something. So lore data, uh, which equals a JSON object of lore lines. So now with that, we can actually go ahead and say lore data dot get, and we can say lore one, and that would be our lore one. So let's go ahead and just create a string lore, lore one, 
equals a string. And let's just copy that two times because we have two lines of lore, two, three. So now what we can do, and now this is actually going to go ahead. So if we had multiples of this here, like uh, for some reason, you know, we had something like this, that is why you would really need this array because then you could get each individual value inside of it from there. So then what we're gonna go ahead and do is, basically we need to add these all to the lore. So we need to create a new uh, array list basically. So let's just, our new list for our lore. So since we already have our item stack there, uh, let's just go ahead and get the item meta and we will just call this item meta equals item stack dot get item meta. Perfect. All right, so what we can do now is let's create a array list, and this is going to be lore, and this is going to be item meta dot gets lore, and let's just go ahead and cast array list over that. So we can go ahead and say lore dot add lore one, and now we can just go ahead and repeat this. Uh, can just go ahead and put that down here and we can say lore 2 lore 3 and then we can go ahead and just uh, set the lore so item meta dot set lore uh, lore and so what we can do now is we can go ahead and say for player uh, let's just get that imported online equals this stuck get server dot get online players and we can say uh, we're actually go ahead and make this use a player and then we can pop this right here switch this to online and we just want to go ahead and make, do a quick check here and say if uh, this dot get server dot get online players dot size oops, dot size equals equals zero. We want to go ahead and just uh, return here really, really easily, so that way we don't get any errors. So now, oops. So now what we can do is inside of here we can actually go ahead and say player dot get inventory dot add item, and we can just go ahead and add our item stack there. And I don't think what else we got left inside of here. So we don't actually have anything else. So if we go ahead and do the re uh, build our JSON reader here, I don't think I'm going to show you guys how to set values. We didn't really get to that. Uh, and I don't want to make this video too, too long. So if we go ahead and reload there, uh, we're not on the server. So it went ahead and returned itself. But if we go ahead and do a return, so I don't know why I did that get lower. Just create a new array list and then uh, we can do it that way because it's not going to have anything right off the bat. I don't know why I did dot get lore. So if we go and export now, you can see that we have that. And if we go here, we have our axe, but we didn't actually set any of these uh, values here. So we didn't set the name or so we didn't set the item in it. So let's just go ahead and do this really quick. Dot set display name. And this is going to be item name. And let's just go ahead and do chat color dot light purple for that. And then we want to go ahead and say item stack dot set item meta item meta. So let's go ahead and re-export this really quickly. And we have our new item. The test, the item is cool for real. So that is just one way you guys can go ahead and read JSON files. I hope I did a good job at explaining it. I kind of stumbled on a couple different spots. Um, that was mostly just through really simple errors that I made. Um, there was a little bit of cutting, hopefully not too much. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe in a couple of videos from now, I'll show you guys how to actually set JSON uh, values, which to be honest, it's honestly really easy. And I might just show you super quickly here. So we can actually just go ahead and I believe we're going to need the JSON object. And we can go ahead and say dot put. And it's going to be, yeah, dot put. And it would be something like item name and then what the value is. So we could just go ahead and say uh, item name and then dog. So 
that right there, we just put that into our JSON file. That's pretty much it. That's all you really need to know. For the most part, I mean, it could get, it's a little bit more complicated than that once you get into it. But that's how you add JSON. Uh, that's how you set JSON objects. So yeah, once again, I hope it wasn't uh, too bad of a video. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub if you guys are having a little trouble keeping up. So thanks for watching.